you crying about? <laughs> oh. oh, come on, Tammy. You can tell me. It's just that I took, I took a bunch of flowers to Ruber. Well, sure. It's his birthday today. That's nice. No, 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 no. Not for his birthday. I wanted him to know how I feel. I know Betty has always been Ruber's girlfriend, but maybe I have a chance. Well, what happened to your bunch of flowers? Oh, those flowers. Flora got them. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, it's only me. Oh, hello there, Pammy. How are you? I came to see Ru... 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 Pammy, is something stuck in your throat? Or is it a cold? No. What lovely roses! And they're my favorite color, too. Who are the roses for, Pammy? Oh, they're for Rue. Thank you, Pammy. I love roses. Ruben, Ruben Pammy's here. Ruben. 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 I better go now. Uh. <laughs> oh, well, Pammy, you can't really blame mm. Laura for that. No, but it was because oh. of Laura things got all mixed up. Oh, all right, all right. Just stop crying. <laughs> hey, Tammy, leave everything to me. What you gonna do? We'll get Rubear a present, something he really likes. Whee! Oh. <laughs> hey, Rubear! What do you like? You want to know what I like? Oh, Mommy and Papa and all my friends oh. here. Rue Bear, how about me? Oh, and Laura, too. That's not what I meant. Oh, you mean to eat. Well, I like eucalyptus leaves, especially if Mommy cooks them. No, no, what you like? What he really likes is toy trains, and he's trying to save some money to buy an engine. Yeah, but so what? Why do you want to know? Oh, nothing. Just curious. See you around. You sure can't buy a train engine with that little bit of money. If I had known I was going to fall in love with Rue Bear, I'd have saved my money. Well, let me see what I've got in here. If we add this to what you've got, we should be able to buy a toy engine for Rue Bear. But, Nick, that's all your savings. That's right. But I don't mind if a toy engine will show Rue Bear how you feel. <laughs> I think this present will make Rubear very happy. And he always remember that his toy train engine came from little Pammy. Very well. There, all gift wrapped for you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Pammy! <laughs> wait for me! I want to hurry and give this to Rubear. Pammy, wait for me, Pammy! You'll get run over. Hey. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. 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 I can't do that, Ruger. Oh, go on, it's easy. It's you easy to sure see that Blue Bear and Betty now. belong together. What will happen if I don't? I wish I Pammy would leave Blue Bear alone. Back. Hey, Blue Bear, the weather's nice. Want to go on a picnic tomorrow? Why, sure. Where to? We could go up to the top of Air's Rock. That sounds fine. What time? We could meet here by the fountain at 10 o'clock, okay? It's a date. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Nick. It was swell of you to arrange for me to go on a picnic with Rue Bear. I can hardly wait. Oh, it was really nothing. I'm just putting together a little lunch for Rue Bear and me. Why so much? 
I want Rubert to find out what really delicious down-home cookie I can do. I hope he likes it. Don't fidget. What's the matter? Um, um oh, no, 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 nothing at all. Oh, Nick, maybe we'll get engaged. Uh, <laughs> Betty! Betty! Well, you're up early this morning, Nick. What's the problem? Uh, I've got a message for you from Rubert. He says to tell you he's sorry, but he can't go with you on the picnic today. Oh, what a nuisance. Why can't he go? Um, Rubert's sick in bed. Well, have a nice day. What a shame. I'd better take him some soup. He's late. Oh, where can he be? I hope he isn't going to stand me up. Rubert wouldn't do a thing like that. Ah. Uh. Rubert! I'm over here! Hello there, Pammy. I've got the lunch already. Oh, yeah? What lunch? I hope it's the best picnic for two lunch in the whole wide world. Anyhow, it's the biggest. I hope you'll like it. What? Why would you make lunch for me? Well, right, Rubert. Right, right, right. Don't be shy. You know we're going to picnic together. It's not like I planned. I wonder why Betty isn't here. Huh? Rubert, what was that you said? Huh? No, Pammy, you know very well I said I wonder why Betty isn't here. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? That wasn't very polite of you. Here we are going on a picnic for two and you start talking about Betty and after I worked so hard making lunch for you. Oh, oh but you see, Betty and I were going... Hold it, Rubert. Oh, hey, what are you doing, Nick? Stop that! Get off of me! I'm sorry, Rubert. Well, you sure are acting funny, Nick. Now, what's all this about? All I said was Betty and I... Being rough? Yes, you are. You keep holding your hand over his face. Oh, did I do that? Yes, and you almost smothered me, Nick. Gee, I'm sorry. All I was trying to say was that I was meeting Betty here to go on a picnic. Huh? <sighs> What's wrong, Pammy? Oh, but Rupert, didn't you invite me to go on a picnic with you? Just the two of us? That's what Nick said. This is the first I heard of it. Oh. <gasps> You've got some explaining to do, Nick. What have you been up to? Nick, come on now. I want the whole story. Well, uh, I found out that uh, Rubert and Betty were going on a picnic today, so I got to thinking, wouldn't it be wonderful if it was you that went with Rubert instead of Betty? That's awful, Nick. You put me in a terrible situation. I'm so embarrassed. Yeah. <laughs> She's right, Nick. That was nice thing to do. I didn't want to do anything that would embarrass Pammy. But now Pammy's here instead of Betty. I want to see what happened to Betty. Huh? Why do you have to go looking for Betty? I'm right here. Well, Pammy, you've got to understand. I made a date with Betty. I promised to go on a picnic with her. I understand, all right. You like Betty better than you do me. I, I didn't mean that. Come on now, you two. Surely you can work this little problem out quite easily. The problem is you, Nick. Oh. <laughs> You're the one that got us into this mess in the first place. Yes, the whole thing is your fault, Nick. But I just wanted to help. You don't look very sick to me, Rubert. Huh. Here, I brought this for the sick boy. Oh, you're not sick. No, but please, Betty, let me explain. You don't need to explain. I understand perfectly. But if you don't want to go on a picnic with me, why didn't you tell me yourself? That was chicken to send Nick to tell me. Oh, no, Betty. Rubert didn't send me to tell you. Hey, Nick, whose side are you on? Are you protecting Rubert? Oh, no, but... When you told me Rubert was sick, I went to your house to take you some soup. And you had never been sick at all. You lied to me! I'll never make a date with you again. Oh, but Betty, please, wait! You don't know what really happened! Hmm. Wait, Betty. It was me who lied, not Rubert. He didn't do anything wrong at all. Don't bother giving me any of your excuses. Hey, wait for me. I can explain the whole thing. I was the one that started it. Just listen to this, Betty. I had this bunch of flowers, see? But Laura took it. What's the matter with everybody? They're all acting so silly. Hmm. Well. I'm hungry. Mm. 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 Wow, that's a good picnic lunch I made. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm not the romantic type. I'm too practical for my own good. Oh, why is it that falling in love makes a person so hungry? Oh. 
kind of did. <laughs> hey, I've never seen a butterfly like that before. Gotta get a picture. There's no film in the camera. Don't bother me now, Kiwi. Mr. Koala, wait till I put this film in the camera. You mean there's no film in the camera? I was just about to do it. Kiwi, you made me miss a shot of a rare species of butterfly. That's terrible. Mm -hmm. Well, that butterfly's not in this book either. Yes, I think I've discovered a new butterfly. Oh, wow. Mr. Koala, that means you'll be famous. Oh, boy. That's big news. Hmm. Does that look about right? Yes, that's good. But didn't it have long projections from the bottom of its wings? Uh, kind of like this. Sensational news! Mr. Koala has discovered a new species of butterfly! Sensational discovery by Mr. Koala! If that's true, a sensational discovery. I can't find it in any of my books, so it must be a new species. But, Papa, are you sure it's really a new kind of butterfly? I've never seen one like this before. Huh? Well, maybe you just saw this in a dream. No, really, Miss Lewis, believe me, that was no dream. I saw it with my own eyes. And Kiwi saw it too, didn't you? Uh-huh. I want a story about it. And I can't write a story about a drawing. I need proof. It would make a great story if you could just get a picture of it for me. Yes. I'll get a picture for you first thing tomorrow. Mommy, would you make me a lunch basket? I'm off. Where are you going, dear? Why, up on the mountain to get a picture of that butterfly. Is it safe up there? I'll be just fine. I'm going to get that picture somehow. Huh? Wait for me, Mr. Koala. Picture. No thanks, Kiwi. You just bungle it like the last time. I'm gonna go with you anyway. This time I promise I'll have everything ready. No, go back. Oh, shit. Look, isn't that Kiwi? Yeah, that's him, but he looks awfully sad. What's the matter, Kiwi? I thought you were going up on the mountain today to help Papa. Yes, I wanted to go, and I asked Mr. Koala to take me. But he said no. He said I just bungled things again. Papa's like that. He always wants to do everything his own way. Why don't we take Kiwi and go look for that butterfly ourselves? Yeah, maybe we'll find it before Papa does. Sure, then Mr. Koala won't be mad at Kiwi anymore. That butterfly has got to be up there somewhere. All we have to do is find it. That's great. Thank you. That's fine. We'll all meet right here tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Okay. found it, and I'm tired. Those darn mosquitoes, they won't let me sleep. Rubear? And you broke my butterfly cage. Please remember, we're not going up there to catch the butterfly. No, we just want to find out where the butterfly lives. 
Then we bring Papa to take pictures of it. Isn't that our plan? Oh. Sounds like fun. Let's go. That's right. Let's go. <laughs> oh, no. I mustn't go to sleep. over Walter's boomerang. I wonder how it got up here. Oh, I'm so sleepy. I've got to find that butterfly. Oh, there it is. Well, I'll get a picture now. Oh, don't just fly away. Please come back. Oh, butterfly, wait! There's lots of them. Yeah, it was right here. Butterflies! Like that, Kiwi? No. The butterfly we saw was a lot prettier than those. Keep looking. Oh, here comes Walter. Oh, that butterfly that Colt's got in his cage. I'm sure that's the one we saw. Oh. Hi, did you come up here for a picnic? Hey, Walter, what a nice butterfly. Yeah, isn't that a beauty? We found it not very far from here and Colt caught it. Would you please let me have the butterfly, Walter? Not a chance. Let's go. Uh -oh. Wait. Just a second, Walter. Would you trade it for this? Oh, that's my special boomerang you've got. All right, Colt. Give that butterfly to Kiwi. Oh. Uh. Oh. I've been looking for this for a long time. It's the best. Oh, shucks. Come on, let's go. I got the butterfly. So we're all set now. Do you think it's the same one that Papa found? It's so pretty. Now, Kiwi, let's find Papa and we'll give him the butterfly. I don't want to just hand it to him. I want Mr. Koala to be the one that discovers this butterfly. Why, Kiwi? Well, it's true that Mr. Koala first discovered this new butterfly, but then I bungled it. Sure, we'll just let the butterfly go free close to Mr. Koala. Oh, is that all right for you, Kiwi? Mm-hmm. Why, there he is now. Mr. Koala, the film you wanted. Oh, thank you, Kiwi. It's lucky you dropped by. I don't know what I'd do without you. Oh. Sees this. Papa, congratulations! It's just like a dream come true.
pictures are superb, Mr. Koala. Amazing. I'm glad you managed to find so many butterflies. And in view of the fact that you discovered them all by yourself, we're going to name the species after you. It will be known as the koala butterfly. Congratulations, Mr. Koala, on what a great story this will be in my magazine. The Book of Insects Around the World now contains pictures of both your butterfly and you.